was a farm in Milton Keats with sheep and chicken and sows. They all had known where. Although Milton Keynes was officially born on January 25th, 1967, it has history dating much further back than that. Let's have a look at some of the most amazing things that have happened on the same land years before the new city of Milton Keynes was even thought of. The oldest known resident of Milton Keynes was a fossil found on the Caldicot Lake. An ichthyosaur that is over 150 million years old. The ichthyosaur would have swam over the seas that are now Milton Keynes and the United Kingdom. The earliest known evidence of human settlements around the River Ouse and Ouzel from around 2000 BCE. That's 4,000 years ago. But the area known as Blue Bridge, they have found a roundhouse settlement that is from around 700 years BCE. In 43 AD, the Romans invaded Britain and started to build their own homes and towns. There's a Roman villa on Bancroft that did better have been built around 400 AD. A number of places that are now part of Milton Keynes appeared in the Doomsday book published in 1006, including Newport Pagnell, Middleton, which became Milton Keynes Village, Shenley and Bletchley. In 1538, the Snetchel Priory, which was built in the 12th century, was closed and destroyed. Some of its stones were used to build St. Giles Church on Tatano, which is still in use today. The first mansion built in Bletchley Park was built in 1711. During the Second World War, this site became the home of the Codebreakers, an older secret at the time. It is now what puts Bletchley on the map. In 1793, the Grand Union Canal was built through the centre of Milton Keynes. At the time, this canal was the major route for moving goods from London to the north. When the railway line was built in 1845, small towns like Bletchley and Wolverton started to thrive and grow. In the 1960s, the population of Britain was increasing and the government were on the lookout for places to build their selection of new towns and cities to house all these people. Many areas of London, whole families were living in single rooms, sharing a toilet and with very little space to cook and live. As a result of the search of the towns, Wolverton, Bletchley, Middleton, Clemmy Stratford and Stony Stratford were brought together to be formed into a new city which was to be called Milton Keynes. Unlike many people believe, it was not named after the economists Milton Friedman and John Maynard Keynes. It was named after the ancient village which has been around a long time and will form part of the new city. And in 1967, Milton Keynes was born. The team of people charged with the developing the city were cool, quirky and innovative, which helped to make Milton Keynes the place it was today. During the last 50 years, we have created loads of new and interesting facts and history in our new city. The Church of Christ the Cornerstone in Central Milton Keynes is Britain's first purpose-built economical city church. Musicians from all over the world still come to Bletchley to test and buy their guitar amps from Marshalls. Driverless cars are being developed in Milton Keynes, just one more fantastic new idea to be built in our town. The world's first operational computer was developed at Bletchley Park in Milton Keynes. There are over 20 million trees in Milton Keynes. Milton Keynes boasts 50 lakes and 11 miles of canals. In total, it has more shoreline than the coast of France. Red Bull Racing has its factory based in Milton Keynes, where they developed one of the fastest cars in the world. In from the Hollywood movie Superman 4 were filmed at the train station in Milton Keynes. KFC at Stacey Bush's was the first dry food, fast food outlet over in the UK. Milton Keynes Shopping Centre was the first covered shopping mall in the UK. It now attracts 31 million people who shop there each year. The Rugby World Cup came to Milton Keynes in 2015 as the stadium came was chosen as a venue. The UK's first motorway service station was at Newport Pagnell and Milton Keynes. So Milton Keynes is more than just concrete cars and roundabout. It's home to thousands of mainstream people. It's only just begun, making history of its own. That is why we say love MK because we may be different but different can be good. Hashtag love MK. Oh no, don't say a word. It's so simply absurd. We know what you have had.
Please don't mention the concrete cow. Hash, hash.